traffic controllers at Connecticut's small airports will get to keep their jobs, but for how much longer? Hi everybody, I'm Erin Logan. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, air traffic control towers at six Connecticut airports have been spared, but only for a couple months. The first 24 closures resulting from federal budget cuts had been scheduled for tomorrow, but the FAA made the announcement that they will delay the closure of air traffic control towers at 149 small airports across the country until mid-June. That's because they need time to deal with the lawsuits related to the issue and to allow airports the chance to look for alternative funding. Connecticut members of Congress have been working to stop these closures from happening. Senator Richard Blumenthal spoke to News 8 today about what's next in the fight to keep air traffic control at airports like Tweed, New Haven. I will join this week with a Republican colleague and we hope to forge a bipartisan coalition to permanently reverse this very misguided and short-sighted decision. Bad for Tweed and five other airports in Connecticut, but also hundreds around the country because of its effect on air safety and jobs and economic development. Blumenthal says closing those towers would be a risk to public safety and would have a negative impact on local economies that rely on airports for jobs and tax revenue. The new date for closure is June 15th.